Running back Wilbert Montgomery has never been anything but a star to Eagle fans. And in 1980, he further ensured their loyalty by leading the team in rushing and receiving, despite a series of nagging injuries. I didn't have any idea I was going to play the game. I, you know, for me as a kid, that was a fun thing for me to do, to get out there. And then when we got together with the other kids in the block, you know, on the school ground, we played, you know, we played football. And I started to see myself a little bit better than the other kids while we were out there. I was able to do more things than the other kids. Gives off inside, running over Montgomery up the right side. Left 30, 45, 40, 15, 10, touchdown! Over Montgomery! I did not think I was going to be drafted because I didn't play that senior season. And when I got called from Garden Fords, and he said, hey, you are been selected by the Philadelphia Eagles in the sixth round. I said, the Philadelphia who? Because truthfully, I, I, truly, I never heard of Philadelphia Eagles. I, you know, you Texas, you, you know, it's all Cowboys. And throughout my career, it never was looking for a compliment it's just that, hey, I worked hard today. You know, how can I be better at working harder tomorrow? And Coach Vermeil, biggest praise that I, you know, that I ever received from him is that I was the guy that set the example of how practice was gonna be every day. When you wanna see how we gonna practice, just watch Wilbert Montgomery because he was 110% all the time. I don't care where I got the ball, it was, it was wide open. And I didn't complain about reps that I was taking because and I just, Felt that, hey, this is what I'm getting paid to do. Squeeze that ball, squeeze that ball. Keep the nose up, keep the nose up, keep the nose up. I love and above with the hands, I love and above. There we go. I never wanted to coach. I, it was that, that's the oddest thing. I never wanted to, to coach. And Coach Ramil come in and get the St. Louis Rams job. And he said to me, how do Coach Montgomery sound? I was a little bit hesitant about it, and I said, it sounds good, but I, I wasn't quite sure. It's something that I really wanted to do. But I had the opportunity, and I seized the opportunity by coming to uh, St. Louis. And the Rams have won the Super Bowl. Good track, man. Good track, good track, good track, good track. Four by one relay team, baby. Four by one relay team. Here, we sit in a room where greatness is on the wall right behind me. This is the epitome of the National Football League. When you go back in the years, you know, how can you not be a running back? And you sit in this room, not look at the history of the wall back there. And I would like to see who's gonna be the next Kevin Mack or the next Ernest Binder in, in, this, in this room to be, that want their name on the board up here. Who's gonna be that guy? You know, the flag is there, someone got to pick it up. So those, those challenges are always out there. And I love this offense because and I love what it gives the backs to do. This is a one cut offense, go north, go north, go north. And if you can do that, you can become a good back in this league, especially in this offense.